In the news this week, a Christian is dismissed for challenging LGBT education, the government sets a date for its pornography age check system, and a baby who was operated on in the womb returns home. Hello. A Christian school assistant has been dismissed after she shared two posts on Facebook challenging LGBT education. Christy Higgs spoke out after hearing that a pro-LGBT scheme was to be taught at her child's primary school. But one person complained to Christy's employer, Farmer's Secondary School, and it decided she should be dismissed. While the school claimed its reputation could have been damaged by the posts, it acknowledged there was no direct evidence for this. Christy said she is not alone in her opinions. I hold these views because of my Christian beliefs, beliefs and views which are shared by hundreds of thousands of parents across the UK. The Christian Legal Centre is supporting her. Its chief executive, Andrea Williams, said Christy is a kind, loving and courageous woman and we will stand side by side with her as she fights for justice. A pro-life society is taking legal action against one of Scotland's leading universities for refusing its Students' Union affiliation. In November, Aberdeen University Students' Association said it would not offer funding, facilitation or platform to the Aberdeen Life Ethics Society. Students are now challenging the decision. A spokesperson for the pro-life group said their position may be an unpopular minority opinion, but it is fully protected by law. The lawsuit asks the court to declare that the union's no-platforming is incompatible with equality and human rights law. Lawyers for the pro-lifers said the policy essentially turns the union into a pro-abortion campaigning organisation. Companies that produce online pornography will be forced to block children using their websites from July this year. Under the system, people wanting to view pornography online will need to use ID to prove they are over 18. Websites which fail to comply face having their payment services withdrawn or being blocked in the UK. Legislation on the issue was originally passed in 2017, but implementation was postponed. Margot James, the Minister for Digital, said the checks are necessary as adult content is currently far too easy for children to access online. Not-for-profit organisation Internet Matters welcomed the move but said parents still need to be on their guard. There is no substitute to having regular and honest conversations with your child about what they're getting up to online, establishing an open dialogue about their digital life from a young age. And finally, a baby who received a pioneering in-womb operation for spina bifida is home and doing well. Eloise was diagnosed with the spinal condition at 20 weeks and her parents, Bethan and Kieran, were offered continuing pregnancy, ending pregnancy or a new option called fetal surgery. But the couple said it was a no-brainer to opt for the surgery. During the four-hour operation, the womb is opened up and a series of tiny stitches are used to close the opening in the unborn baby's spine. The family were later told to expect the worst, but Eloise was born healthy on the 1st of April with no signs of the condition. Mum Bethan said the ordeal was worth it. We may have been through a lot, but I'd do it for Eloise again in a heartbeat. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. On behalf of everyone at the Christian Institute, I'd like to wish you a peaceful Easter. Until next time, goodbye.